Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libras. Libra, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. We're going to be pulling out the tarot cards. Once we're done with that, we will be pulling out some oracle cards to see what spirit's direct message is for you. Now, let's see what February 2021 is going to bring to you. Now, your first card here is the Two of Swords. Okay. The next card is the Eight of Cups. The Magician card. Okay. The King of Cups. Okay. The World card. Wow. We got strong energies here, Libra. Ace of Wands. The Hierophant. Whew. And the Empress. Wow. All right, Libra. Well, I will tell you this. There are major changes coming for you. Okay. So we're starting off the month with the Two of Swords. Um, I feel you guys a bit stuck. Uh, for some of you guys, this could have been a situation that you're currently dealing with where uh, you decided to walk away from some type of connection, some type of um, some type of situation where you didn't really know how to act or how to react, I should say. The Two of Swords always indicates to us uh, not wanting to make choices. This is a moment where we feel like we are stuck. We don't know where to go or we don't know how to react to a certain situation. So we refuse uh, to make any move. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, someone made a move, whether it was you or whether it's the person that you're dealing with. Um, with the Eight of Cups, this is walking towards a new beginning. But if you can see very closely at this, you can see the man moving towards a new future, but still catching a glimpse of what they're leaving behind. So this could be you, Libra, dealing with a situation where uh, perhaps you are in some type of connection or dealing with a specific person where um, this was a past energy. So it could have been a situation where you're no longer or were no longer with them. Um, situations or circumstances came about where you kind of were tempted to go back and revisit the past. Um, it didn't pan out the way you would want it to or the way you were expecting and you decided to no longer entertain that energy and you decided to move along. However, I still see you reminiscing or uh, looking towards these, what you're leaving behind. So again, I feel that you haven't fully moved on from this connection. I do want to say here with the Magician card and the King of Cups, this is love surrounding you, Libra. I feel that you either already met this person or will be meeting this person in the month of February. The magician indicates a very strong, powerful connection. This is an energy of a person that is very attuned to the energies. This is an individual um, that can come off a bit strong only because with the magician card, when it comes up as a uh, signifier of the individual coming in, this is transformative energy. The magician is that of a magician, right? A person that can manifest. So it's almost like you've been hoping or wishing for this type of connection. And that person that's coming in has been hoping and wishing for this connection with you as well. Um, the king of cups could represent water energy. I see the empress here. This is your energy, Libra. Uh, Ace of Wands could be Fire, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries Energy, Hierophant. Uh, you could be dealing with a uh, with a Taurus type of energy. Um, the Magician has all the elements. So I do see all the elements here. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with Earth, uh, Water, uh, Fire type of energy. However, the King of Cups doesn't necessarily represent the individual. It, it, it represents their energy and the king of cups is a master of their emotions this is a person that is very attuned this is a person with the magician that is very much in control of their emotions so for some of you guys it could be a connection where you kind of felt like they were very hard to read or like you're somewhat intimidated by this connection 
um, and don't really know how to react. You don't know how to move forward with it. Uh, for some of you guys, I feel that fear may be holding you back from this connection. That's for those of you guys that already met this person. Um, with the world card, though, what they're telling you here is that it's time for you to end a cycle. So again, if you are dealing with the person from the past, but things are just not working out, but there is a feeling within you that you don't want to completely walk out because what if we get it right this time? What Spirit is telling you is if you were to get it right, it would be right, but it doesn't feel right because you've outgrown that connection. With the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups, it's time for you to walk away from past experiences or past connections and embrace this new beginning. The Ace of Wands is igniting the passion. This is a new connection. This is a new person coming in. Um, this is a very, very strong physical connection with this person. Hierophant speaks about commitment. The magician is the manifestation of the commitment coming through. Um, with the King of Cups, could be male or female energy. It's a general reading, but... With the Empress card here, I feel that this is a person that the moment you meet them, you're going to know exactly, exactly who they are. I feel that this is a person that is very straightforward. This is a straight shooter. This is a person that doesn't do BS. Um, and I feel that this connection is going to be very strong and very powerful. For a lot of you guys, you already met this person. But I feel that for some, you could be entertaining the past because you don't really know how to approach this person. So it could be that this person is in your surroundings. It could be that it's a person that is around your friends. It could be a person that you've already met. You just don't know how to pursue them because they're so difficult to read. However, with the Hierophant here and the Empress card here, I feel that you see them as very mature. You see them as very wise. You see them as uh, very loving and very beautiful. And how they're viewing you, Libra, is a bit shy, a bit reserved. Um, they're seeing you as very slow in making movement. So again, I feel that for those of you guys that are currently dealing with people from the past, you will get to the point in February where you're going to realize that it's not going anywhere. And what they're showing you here is almost like I'm seeing like a very small door. And this could be signaling to me um, like your time is running out to make a move on this person. This is for those of you guys specifically that already met this person and know exactly who I'm talking about. I feel that there is a small door. Uh, it could represent that they know exactly what it is that they're looking for. They know exactly what they want. And it could be that there is a new person coming in or about to be propelled in their life uh, that could become a conflict in this connection with you. So again, I feel that they definitely do know, for those of you guys that already met this person, I feel that they already know this connection. Like they already feel the connection with you, but I feel that they're waiting for you to make some type of move. And they've been waiting for a while. So again, they're giving me like uh, this small door and I'm looking at the clock here and this is indicating to me there is a time frame in this connection um, and I feel that what they're telling you is you don't want to miss out on a blessing because you're still entertaining the past all right all right let's see what spirits direct message is for you Libras for it's funny look I just pulled up the bottom I don't necessarily read the bottom deck unless I see it and it's judgment. So you guys need to make a choice here. You need to make a decision. Let's see, spirits, what is the resurrect message for the month of February in regards to this situation that they're going to be dealing with for the month of February 2021? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Venus. Okay. All right. So your first card, Libra, is Delight. Yeah, I feel that this is, um, this, what they're telling you here is that there is major potential in this connection. Um, this is almost like what you've been praying for, what you've been asking for in partnerships, Libra. Um, and instead of you really being present, present, and experiencing this unfold, I feel that there's a lot of resistance for some of you guys. It's fear. 
It's fear of feeling like maybe you don't deserve happiness or fear of, I don't want to walk away from if I could, we could get it right this time. Um, but what they're telling you is that be present in the now, you know, S stop trying to force things to happen. Take those chances or those opportunities that are presenting themselves to you because you are or can potentially be in a very delightful type of energy in an energy where you feel very abundant where you feel very loved perhaps a type of love that you've never experienced up until now they're telling you openness you have to be open to the possibilities you have to be open to this individual that's coming in or to the individual that you already met but there's a lot of fears here and i'm getting like very giddy so for some of you guys it could just be nervousness that you don't know how to approach this person um but with the openness card here what they're telling you is that you need to be more straightforward or you need to be more open in the sense of don't don't have them guessing like be straightforward it's exactly what i just said you have to be straightforward libra they're telling you to take risks now is the time to take action you guys if you already know who the cards are telling you or talking to you about stop entertaining the past embrace this new beginning if you already met this person jump on it wholeheartedly be open to the possibilities and take risk taking risk signifies getting out of your comfort zone if you're not the type to be direct they're telling you now is the time to be direct this person is not playing around and they know exactly what they want so they expect the same in return taking risks represents sometimes we have to get out of our own comfort zone or get out of our own head to be able to be present and take those opportunities to be able to see the end result. Okay, so get out of your head, Libra. If you have not met this person, this person will be coming in for you for the month of February, and you're going to know exactly who they're talking about. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, and we'll see each other soon. Happy Valentine's. Take care, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.